The View co-host Sonny Hostin is attacking former UN ambassador Nikki Haley's name, her name, out of all things, falsely claiming she uses a fake one to hide her Indian heritage. Watch this. I'd love to see Nikki Haley. I'd love to see Liz Cheney. I'd love to see Nikki Chris Haley, Nunu. the chameleon. But I just want to be careful about critiquing yeah, her there, for going by the name she's There are some of by. us that can be chameleons and decide not to embrace our ethnicity so that we can pass. Sonny, so I don't that think that's don't fair. You go by a different name. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the former U.N. ambassador was quick to correct the host's comments, tweeting, it's racist of you to judge my name. Nikki is an Indian name and is on my birth certificate, and I'm proud of that. Joe Concha joins us now. And Joe, you heard one of the other uh, View co-hosts say to Sunny Hostin, you go by a different name because her real name, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, is uh, Sunseals Cummings Hostin. So it just seems mm -hmm. like a petty comment, not the best moment for her. What do you think about this? Yeah, that was Sarah Haynes who, who noted that, Carly. And, and this is the greatest thing ever. I mean, Sonny Hostin, who is a professional race baiter uh, and victim, accuses Nikki Haley of not using her real name and attacking her when Sonny herself doesn't use her real name and does the same thing. Uh, it's, it's almost like the whole cast has more aliases than, than Jason Bourne. I mean, <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg's real name, it's true. Her real name is Karen Elaine Johnson. She's the original Karen. Uh, even Joy Behar's real name isn't Joy, it's Josephine. Uh, of course, it's is in joy. This is the least joyful person on the planet. And ABC News, honestly, what are you thinking? P putting this hateful, racist, ugly show under your news division, I, I think the network might want to rethink that, Carly. Todd. And of all the bad takes on The View, this one is pretty high up there, and that is a that is a high bar to meet, because uh, this one Silly. Yeah. is a, quite Come a show, on. like you said. Yeah. Um, meantime, mm. actor Tim Allen, comedian as well, going viral for a dad joke about President Joe Biden's 60 Minutes interview. Home Improvement star tweeting quote Biden was on 60 minutes I heard he asked how long the show was I mean look an absolute dead joke not the greatest joke in the world but also you know not the beginning of world tame. war three yeah did it warn the hyperventilating from the left uh, I think it was one of the most benign jokes ever yeah. told about a sitting president, Todd. I mean, go back and look at the, the Trump years uh, over over the last uh, four years from 2017 to 2021. Still now, by the way, every night on late night, uh, they can't get away from Trump. But but then people actually celebrate Tim Allen being canceled for doing the voice of, of uh, Buzz Lightyear uh, last year. In other words, if, if you have the audacity to make a joke about a president, which has been a thing forever, you, you deserve not to work and earn. Uh, that's a joke, and it ain't funny, guys. Mm -hmm. There's also this, Joe, that we wanted to ask you about. The Associated Press just updated a story after avoiding political affiliation of a, a Democrat on a trial for murder, murdering a Las Vegas yeah. reporter. At first, the AP only referenced Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis as a local elected official in the headline and then throughout the article. Later, the AP uh, changes it without an editor's note, identifying Tellis as a Democrat in the second paragraph and noting Tellis lost the Democratic Party primary in June. So I the question here is if this guy was a Republican, would they have left out the party affiliation? Uh, it's a fun game to play early of any morning, Carly, or, or uh, any time of day for that matter. Uh, to your point, what if a conservative lawmaker had been accused of murdering a reporter who was investigating him or her? The entire journalism community would be up in arms. The president, the House Speaker, Senate Majority Leader will be talking about the dangers of domestic terrorists daily. <laughs> Almost no one is talking about this story outside of this network, and that's a whole bowl of wrong, Todd, Carly. A whole bowl of right is named Joe Concha, who joins us every day and we appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Joe. you, Joe. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.